give eye drops if the bird has a sore eye or a sore sore um, yeah, if the bird needs sore if it has a sore eye. Eye drops. I'm resting my fingers. Notice this finger as there's a fingers touching behind the head. So that keeps my hands steady. So I'm doing I'm holding the bird like this and I have a finger like this. And it helps stop this. Alright? Doesn't shake so much. And then I bring the dropper over like that. So that the dropper, this and this, do not touch. Otherwise, bacteria or fungi from here to here. So you don't let it touch. And, just, and the same with ointment. If you're using ointment, only a very tiny little bit. Drops by mouth. The same principle applies. So we're holding and we're hold and we're bringing the drop round, but not letting this touch the mouth. When I'm giving the, I'm aiming the drop for if this is the top beak and this is the bottom beak, I aim the drop to fall there. You all see? So the drop is going to on there, then it's going to roll in. And to roll in. And then I do that. So the drop goes on the, the, the beak is held on its side. The dropper comes down and it hits this part. I took the head. It rolls here, then I tilt the head, and it goes down the throat. All right? Next, please. Holding the, for a nail clip, sometimes the, the, the toenails are very long. So we're going to, so I use the, the chopstick strip for that. And then I can bring my thumb and fing, finger around like that to hold the nail with the Hold the bird, bird's foot, and then I can do, okay, poor photo, but anyway, it's all right. Keep going, next one. <coughs> um, next one, that's another grip. Similarly with the beak trim, if the beak trim, I've got the head very, very tightly held. So I don't want the, no, I don't want the bird. So I'm holding the bird, I've got the finger right over the, the front of the hip, this finger. This finger here is, thumb is very tight on the cheek and the other finger on the, on the other side so that the bird can't wriggle that part. I'm not pressing on here and then I've got the clippers. Sorry, it's a very bad photo, but anyway, it, it, the clippers are going there. And we cut down that way and cut down that way. We do not cut up. Right? Hmm? You tend to split the beak. Okay, and in the, when you're clipping beak, remember, and when you're clipping toes, remember that there's blood vessels and nerves. So if you can't see, shine a light through the beak and you can see where those are. Just other ways of doing it. That's a chopstick script. Okay. Uh, oh, wings. Um, inspecting the wings of a birdie. When you stretch out a wing, most people want to do it this way. Break. Or break, dislocate. If the bird struggles. Because the very strong muscles are all here. The flying. Okay. So, um, this, this is particularly on birds that have got poor calcium and so forth. You can break the wing. So, instead, Stretch the wingers here, stretch it out this way, all right, this way, not 